Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to another speed test video. For today I have the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the Google Pixel XL. Starting on to the left to the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, we have an octa-core processor, it's an Exynos 8890 processor, 4 gigs of RAM and a 5.5 inch display with a Quad HD resolution. On to the right we have the Google Pixel XL that has a Snapdragon 821, 4 gigs of RAM, a 5.5 inch display with a Quad HD resolution as well. Starting with the Geekbench 4 results, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge gets a multi-core score of about 5400 and the Google Pixel XL gets a multi-core score of about 4100. For the single core score, the Google Pixel XL gets 1532 and for the single core score uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge we get 1856, so quite a big difference there. And moving on to the Antutu benchmark, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge scores about 121,000 and the Google Pixel XL scores about 139,000, so again a big difference here as well. Let's start the test by checking out the fingerprint scanners on both devices. I'm gonna start with the screens off on both devices, so I'm gonna touch both of them in the exact same time. And now let me slow that down for you so you can see what happened better. And now I'm gonna do the exact same test but to the screens on. So let's see what happens. So let me again slow that down so you can see what happened. And now I have the same apps installed onto both devices and I'm gonna start opening uh, apps on both devices in the same time. So let's start with FIFA 16. Let me show you that everything is closed into the background, so no apps in the background for uh, any of the devices. So let's start with FIFA 16. So I did press in the same time, we'll give it a second uh, for them to start up. So I guess the S7 Edge uh, did start a bit faster. So I'm gonna let this uh, load and then we'll exit to leave them in the background. And the following one it's gonna be this other FIFA game. So we'll open this in the same time as well. This one started in about the same time on both devices. But uh, somewhat faster onto the S7 Edge. So we'll leave this one in the background as well. The next one it's gonna be Facebook. And again it loaded onto the S7 Edge slightly faster. So we'll leave that in the background as well. Next I have the GPS testing app, we'll open this as well. And see which uh, phone connects to the satellites faster. And onto this test the Google Pixel uh, connected faster. We'll leave this one in the background as well. The next one it's gonna be the Play Store, so we'll open the Play Store on both of them. And it did open a bit faster onto the S7 Edge once again. The next one is gonna be Chrome, so we'll open Chrome on both devices. And maybe it started a bit faster onto this one. And let me open a website here. So I'm gonna open uh, this uh, website in the same time. And I think it did load a bit faster on the Google Pixel XL. And let's open the same um, article on both. So let's try this one for example. And again it did open uh, on the Google Pixel XL just a bit faster. We'll leave this in the background. The next one is gonna be Google Play Music. So I think it was this one that opened first, but uh, this one loaded a bit faster. We'll leave that one in the background as well. The next one is gonna be this racing game. And it did start a bit faster onto the Google Pixel XL. So we'll leave this one in the background as well. The following one is gonna be Temple Run. 
and uh, they did open in about the same time but I think the Samsung uh, loaded the game a bit faster so we'll leave this one in the background as well the next one I have it's uh, the camera app so now let's turn both screens off and we'll launch the cameras on both devices in the same time so double tapping onto the Samsung and double uh, tapping onto this one uh, as well so let me try that uh, in the same time so the camera app opened a bit faster onto the Google Pixel XL the next app it's gonna be Twitter and they did start in the, about the same time but this one loaded a bit faster we'll close that as well and then uh, it's gonna be Instagram so we'll open Instagram so in about uh, the same time and let me just open my account here for example and we'll open the same picture so I think the Google Pixel XL uh, loaded that a bit faster and the last one that I'm gonna try it's YouTube see how uh, fast that starts and it did start a bit faster onto this one uh, right here I'm just gonna open uh, a random video hopefully we find something uh, similar on both devices so let's open this one here on both of them and it did start a bit faster onto the Google Pixel XL and I have one last one a speed test here so it already did a speed test I'm just gonna show the results and for the results the S7 Edge was a bit faster than uh, this one for one of the tests but overall uh, kind of similar so now that we opened all those uh, apps they're all running in the background so let's open uh, the apps in the background and we'll try opening the first one that we had opened so let's start with FIFA and see which one has to reload so the Samsung has to actually reload uh, that game so it was killed in the background there so we'll exit this let's exit on both and let's go back to the apps running in the background again let's find the other game so it's this one here let's see which one has to reload that game so again the Samsung had to reload that game uh, once again we'll uh, exit that again we'll go to the apps running in the background we'll open Facebook and they both kind of had to reload Facebook we'll exit that let's go back to the apps running in the background for the GPS test tab let's see if any of them uh, has that running in the background and the Samsung had to reload that uh, once again so we'll exit that let's go back to those apps let's see what happens with the Play Store so it's running in the background for both moving back let's see what else we have we have Chrome so let's open Chrome and the Samsung had to reload uh, that website once again we'll exit that we'll go back to the apps running in the background and let's see Google Play Music and again the Samsung had to reload that app once again we'll exit that we have this racing game and they both had to reload uh, that particular game so we'll exit that on both and we only have a couple of uh, apps left so let's see Temple Run and they both had to reload Temple Run uh, from the beginning so we'll exit that again on both the camera let's see if the camera apps are still open so I think the Samsung had that open and this one had to reload it we'll exit that once again and uh, we are almost done so let's see what happens with Twitter and it did seem that both of them had to reload uh, that app so hopefully this test was uh, useful so we did try a whole bunch of uh, apps here and see which ones uh, are still uh, running the background and which ones are not let's see Instagram once again because uh, we still had that one and again uh, 
the Samsung kind of had to reload that one. So let's uh, do that one more time because we had one more app, which is the YouTube app. So let's see what happens with this one. So again, the Samsung kind of had to reload uh, that uh, app again. And let's see which one starts faster. So the Samsung did start that a bit faster. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you do have any comments, uh, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.